Hi guys, this is David Gray, and uh, it's been a long time since I made a video, but I've been looking online, and I've seen a common problem that people have been having connecting their PS3 controllers with their laptop and or PC. Um, if you guys have downloaded the SCP driver thingy, then you guys are on the right track. But the thing is, you guys are coming up with an error with your SCP when it comes to Bluetooth devices and or the built-in Bluetooth that is hooked up to your laptop and or PC. So you guys are trying to connect your controller via Bluetooth and for some reason it's not working for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you the steps that you need to take in order to get it to work. Um, now if you've connected your PS3 controller via USB and it's working then that's all good and dandy. The only thing is when you disconnect it, you get the four blinking lights indicating that your PS3 controller is looking for something to connect to. But unfortunately, it's not working. Now, when you go to my computer and you go into, if you put your SCP uh, folder into program files, made a folder called scarlet.crush space productions, and you dumped it in there, you go to the SCP folder, you click on it, you go to bin, and you click on the monitor, and it still doesn't work for uh, Bluetooth. The error that you guys get is the host address. That's the thing you're actually trying to get to say that, okay, your Bluetooth device is being registered, which would be your controller. And it says either error, disconnected, or there's nothing there. But on your pad, when you have it connected to your via USB, it says that it's charging and a whole bunch of numbers and whatnot. And it's just not working for you guys. This is what you need to do. You need to go to start. You need to click on, uh, type in device manager, which I believe I had it set up somewhere around here. If not, it's okay. Uh, that's devices and printers, which you can find your control panel and or settings. So let's go ahead and type in device manager and I'll show you everything. So if you go to settings in your start menu, uh, sorry, <laughs> and click on devices and you click on device and printers, this window pops up. And you'll see that it says either Xbox 360 controller for Windows or PS uh, PlayStation R3 controller. That's completely fine and everything is working. Um, when you go to your device manager, you'll see three, uh, Xbox 360 properties and you'll also see universal serial bus devices. This is the one you really need to, to worry about. When you do this, you're going to click on the down arrow and it's going to show you either two and or more things in this thing. Do not click on universal serial bus controllers, that is your USB ports on your laptop and or PC. Now, this is what you're going to want to do in order to get this to work. Um, you want to right click this, uninstall all of these in the bus devices. When you do that, it might ask you to restart your laptop and or PC. Don't do it just yet. You've got a lot more to do. You go to Windows, you type in uninstall program. It'll be add or remove programs. You're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring up the settings, add uh, apps and features tab. Scroll all the way down to SCP. And if it's not there, then cool, you don't have to worry about it. But if it is there, uninstall that as well. Now, let's say you downloaded the STP folder and you put it in your desktop. It's completely fine, but I do recommend following the steps that everybody else has been telling you to do by going to your folders tab, going to my computer, or this PC, going to the local disk, going to program files, making a new folder, calling it Scarlet. S C A R L E T dot or period crush space productions and then putting the SCP server folder in there. When you do that, you'll get the sources tab and the bin tab. You click on bin and then you'll get your original setup that you have here. 
Um, I will put the links in the description of the video if you have trouble getting this stuff. Uh, better DS3 tool works and all that stuff, but this is what you really want to do. I, for some reason, find this more cleaner and more more uh, stable to run than better DS3 tool. So go ahead and right click on this, click on run as administrator, the STP driver.exe, click on yes. And then you're going to go ahead and uninstall everything. So uh, you click on the configure services and the Bluetooth driver and then uninstall. After that, you're going to go ahead and restart your PC. Now that you've restarted your PC, you're going to go ahead and go to your start tab and type in device manager again, which will bring up this window. And now you'll see that Universal Serial Bus Devices is no longer there. It is on mine because I am not doing this process because it turned out to be a pain in the ass when I did it before. So, <clears throat> you'll then find that your Bluetooth tab is back and everything else, your uh, devices are back to normal. Um, I found this out the hard way because I had did something and it took over my webcam and I had actually had to reinstall the firmware and hardware software products for my webcam and all of my USB drivers. So now that this is all back to normal, you don't need device manager anymore. Go ahead and hook your PS3 controller up via USB. And then now you're gonna go into the My Computer tab, uh, this PC, local disk, and program files. When you uh, get to program files, you're going to go ahead and click on the scarlet.pressproductions folder that you just made, the SCP server, go to bin, right click on scpdriver.exe, run as admin, click on yes, and then click force install. Make sure all of these three tabs are clicked and then click on install. After that, it'll say that four things have been installed. Uh, successfully the one tab that you'll see missing at the very bottom will be Bluetooth driver no need to worry everything is running fine uh, go ahead and exit this and then right click on SCP monitor and run as admin when you do that you're gonna click yes and then this little tiny thing down here will pop up saying SCP monitor server connected go ahead and close that out go to your taskbar and then you're going to go ahead and click on SCP monitor. Now you'll see that your controller is connected. It'll say charging and then host address will either say uh, will either say disconnected. It will no longer have an error there. That's, that's the one thing you're going to want to make sure. Go ahead and uh, set this aside somewhere. Now you're going to go ahead and go to the ZA uh, dig file or folder, click on that, and then right click on this and run as admin. Click on yes. Now this thing will pop up. Go ahead and click on device, go to load preset, click on bluetooth.cfg uh, file, and then after that you're going to go ahead and go to options and list all devices. When you do this, you're gonna go ahead and click on your Bluetooth device, not your controller or anything else. Make sure that you click on your Bluetooth device. So mine is Intel Wireless Bluetooth R, which is the built-in Bluetooth device that is inside my laptop currently. After that, you're gonna go ahead and click on reinstall driver. And when you do that, it's going to ask you to reset, uh, restart or restart later. You're going to go ahead and click on restart later. Uh, now, when you go to your device manager, you'll notice that the Bluetooth is no longer there and you have your USB serial devices back where it should be at the very bottom along with Xbox 360 properties. If your Xbox 360 properties is no longer there, or not, no, peripheral, sorry, is not there yet, no need to worry. All you need to do is restart your PC one more time, load everything back up, and then go into your folder again, 
once you restart it again, sorry. <clears throat> go to this PC, go to local disk, go to program files, go to the Scarlet Crush Productions, click on the SCP server, click on bin, right click in on this, run as admin. You don't need to install anything, just have it open just for a brief moment. You might not need to do this, but it's just there because it's it's something you want to do. Right click on the SCP monitor, run as admin. When you do that, you go ahead and open it up again. You'll have the host address and everything like that. And if it still says disconnected, it's completely fine. Go ahead and right click on SCP server.exe and run as admin. Click on yes. And then this will pop up. You're going to go ahead and click on start, clear, and then start, uh, stop, clear, and then start. When you do that, everything should be working completely fine. Mind you that your PS3 controller is still hooked up via USB, and you have a solid one blinking light. When you disconnect your controller, it'll say reserves on the SCP monitor, and you'll have four blinking lights on your controller. If you hit your center tab, you'll have a solid one light, uh, one red light. And then after that, you should be able to just hit your uh, center button. For some reason, it's not going to pick up on my screen recorder, but SCP server, uh, SCP server page pops up. And if you really want to go ahead and test it to make sure that it is working, you can go to the uh, Microsoft Store and download this game. Uh, this game, wow. This thing called Game Controller Tester, which I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's like this. Click on that, open it after you download it. And then uh, in order to test this controller, click on Classic Interface and then hit your start and select button at the same time and start moving stuff around, click on buttons and you'll notice that everything works just the way it does. In order to exit out of this, go ahead and hit your start and select at the same time or just hit the X button. That is what you need to do. You are free to close out every one of these and uh, start using controller to game. Now. The reason why you actually had to do this is because of the fact that if you've done this more than once, for some reason it won't recognize that there's a Bluetooth driver on your uh, laptop and or PC. And you have to reinstall the drivers in order for it to work, and unfortunately it's just a pain in the butt. Um, in order to control, uh, turn your controller off, do not just hold the center button until it turns off. Disconnect your controller via USB, put it down somewhere, and don't touch it. Your controller will automatically turn off, and you should be able to just turn off your laptop and or PC, and then when you turn it back on, this is what you need to do in order to register everything back again. Uh, connect your PS3 controller via USB again, click on the folders, to get to your SCP server folder. So this PC, local disk drive, program files, Scarlet Crush Productions, SCP, bin, and then when you do that, you're gonna go ahead and right click on SCP monitor, run as admin, and you'll go down to your taskbar, and you'll see that these are running. Go ahead and exit out both of these because I've got three of them open. If you do get this as disconnected again, all you have to do is go to the scpservices.exe, right-click it, and run as admin. When you do that, all you have to do is just hit stop, clear, start, uh, make sure that your USB connected, make sure that your controller is connected via USB. After that, you should be good to go. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down in the section below. If you run into any problems, ask me. I have no problem doing this again and showing you guys. And I'll even go through the steps-by-step -step process of connecting your controller via USB. 
But, like I said before, if you've messed up, you actually have to uninstall everything by hand. There is no way to uninstall it just by right-click uninstall. You actually have to go into your device manager, uninstall it there, and restart your PC like three times in a row. Not in a row, but, you know, you get the idea. Uninstall your Bluetooth, uninstall your PS3 controller, restart your laptop after you uh, uninstalled it from the programs, if it's there, and then reinstall everything by hand, just like that. If I go on by too quickly, go ahead and feel free to pause it, but other than that, that is what you do. Um, a lot of people don't realize that this is a common error, and technically don't know how to fix it, so... This is 2019, I am using the CPS, uh, SCP server, just like everybody else's, and having a lot of questions with it, so I hope you guys find this video helpful, I'm sorry for the stutter and the confusion, but hopefully you guys can be able to get it. Alright guys, well, keep on gaming.